Meghan Markle insists she's not controversial as she describes tearful struggles. Meghan Markle has hit back at critics who take offense at her speaking out, saying she's been misunderstood. The Duchess of Sussex last week came under fire for urging people to vote in the upcoming U.S. election, but she said she's done nothing wrong. Speaking at the Fortune Most Powerful Women Summit today, she said, If you look back at anything I've said, what ends up being inflammatory is people's interpretation of it. But if you listen to what I actually say, it's not controversial, and some of it is reactive to things that just haven't happened. Meghan, addressing the summit virtually from the pound 11 million mansion she and Prince Harry bought in May, said the couple are throwing themselves into tackling hate speech and toxic behavior online. She said that allowing bullying and misinformation on social media is not sustainable and must be dealt with. The Duke and Duchess have called on advertisers to boycott networks, including Facebook, which allow hate speech. If the changes that are being made are in fact made, it's for the good of everyone, Facebook included. Meghan said. In an interview with Fortune senior editor Ellen McGurt asked Meghan about the powerful people who have tried to take her down. She was asked what her advice was to people who have a desire to weigh in on the big issues. Meghan replied, It's about being authentic. I think that is the takeaway, that I have found, is if you don't listen to all the noise out there, and just focus on living a purpose-driven life and knowing what your own moral compass is. There are always going to be naysayers. But at the end of the day, I used to have a quote up in my room, many many moons ago and it resonates now, perhaps more than ever, when you see the vitriol and noise that can be out in the world. It's by George O'Keefe, and it's I've already settled it for myself, so the flattery and criticism go down the same drain and I am quite free. And the moment you are able to be liberated from all of these other opinions of what you know to be true, then I think it's very easy to live with truth and authenticity and that's how I choose to move through the world. The Duchess of Sussex also said she was in tears while preparing to deliver a speech at her old school following the death of George Floyd. Meghan, who became the first mixed-race person to marry a senior royal had shared her absolute devastation at racial divisions during an impassioned Black Lives Matter speech at Immaculate Heart High School in Los Angeles. She said, I was just in tears thinking about it, and I was just explaining to my husband why I thought that it was so heartbreaking, certainly for me being back in Los Angeles and it being so reminiscent to the state of Los Angeles with the riots after the Rodney King beating. And so for these girls to be graduating from high school which should be a very celebratory time, to be plagued with that unrest felt troubling to me. I just spoke from the heart, and that's probably why it doesn't look polished and why it doesn't feel perfect, but that's also why it's authentic. Prince Harry has also also said more action is needed to root out systemic racism in society, as he described current efforts as bringing a bucket of water to a forest fire. He made the comments in August during an interview with Rashad Robinson. President of Color of Change, a non-profit civil rights advocacy organization in the U.S., on systemic racism, hate online and people with privilege.